Hello, everybody on community. This is Randy back today with another video. I received in the mail uh, a couple days ago, uh, about two or three days ago, I received a package from Record Collector, Sean Cecilia. Channel name is Record Collector. And uh, so I'm going to show you those uh, record, what's well, some records and uh, CDs that he sent to me. So I'm going to show those to you uh, today. Yeah, so it's a combination of uh, records and CDs. The first record is this <clears throat> Earl Scruggs record. Earl Scruggs, top of the world. Earl Scruggs, banjo player. I I used to know him from when he was flat in Scruggs. He was on Beverly Hillbillies sometimes. Beverly Hillbillies, he and uh, uh, Lester Flat sang that uh, the theme song, I think. So, uh, yeah, he's a banjo player. He has a son named Randy uh, who plays on this record, too. I think he actually produced it, maybe. And also, uh, Rodney Dillard plays on it with him. Here's some of the credits. and uh, Yeah, there's the track listing there at the top. Very first song on here, and the title card is Top of the World which is a song that the Grateful Dead played on their very first album. I was glad to hear that. So yeah, this is, I guess, uh, bluegrass, I guess, is what you would call this with vocals. Yeah. Uh, sounds good. I have, I've only listened to it uh, once or twice. I'm to listen to it some more. Very good shape. Columbia Records. Came out in, well, I don't know if I even looked at the year. It's like 1983. 1983 for that one. Sean also sent me this <clears throat> Jeff Beck record. Jeff Beck with the Jan Hammer group. Jan Hammer. Jan Hammer. Synthesizer player, keyboard player. This is a 1977 live album. Jeff Beck had just made an album in 1976 uh, that featured Jan a lot, Wired. And there is only, uh, there's only one song from that album on here though, which is uh, Blue Wind, a song that uh, Jan wrote. But there are a couple songs from Blow by Blow, the 1975 album by Jeff Beck, Scatterbrain, and uh, She's a Woman, covered the Beatles song, and starts out with Freeway Jam, very cool, very cool version of Freeway Jam from the Blow by Blow album, so. Yeah, Jeff Beck live. This also has uh, 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 some vocals on it, which is uh, Jan singing. I guess I'd forgotten about that. I heard this album you know, a long time ago when it first came out. Uh, that is on Epic Records. Epic. Sean sent me Herbie Mann, one of the all time memorable album covers this album cover is one that i uh, i just have to laugh every time i see it it's just uh, i guess it's a 1960s early 1970s album cover i think a lot of bands and performers did the shirtless thing back then kind of interesting this has a die cut sleeves though, so it's totally cool it's very cool harvey man push push is the name of this Push Push is the title cut. We have to do Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. Uh, Never Can Say Goodbye. And Ray Charles, what did I say? But the big feature on this one is that Dwayne Allman is the guitar player in the band. So uh, there's a lot of Dwayne all over this record. It's really good. And the flute player is great. I mean, I'm a big Herbie Mann fan, so I was glad to get that anyway. I've gotten several of his records just in the past uh, couple years. So, uh, yeah, that was good. The cool thing about this one is it's on Embryo Records. Embryo. I've never even heard of that label before. A totally awesome label, though. With the yin yang thing going there. And yeah, awesome. Uh, and then finally, the last record Sean sent me is we're hearing it in the background right now. It's kind of quiet. I don't know if you can hear it or not. 
I think it might get a little bit louder uh, in some parts later on. This is Nadja, N-A-D-J-A, under the Jaguar sign. And then there's, it says in parentheses, it has another word, cha, uh, uh, well, now, uh, chakehutiklu, uh, I don't know what that is. Um, I think it means rain is what it means. Um, it's like a two record set, so I, I think uh, maybe the first record is, maybe the first record is under the Jaguar sun and the second record is the unpronounceable word. So, uh, I looked in Discogs, and this 2009 record, this is 2009, and uh, they called it uh, Dark Ambient, uh, Doom, something else but yeah it's very 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 ambient very quiet i i, I haven't actually uh, heard this album all the way through yet i've just heard the first side uh, to finish listening to it oh fantastic artwork that one on this one i am back so yeah 2009 for this one Side A is, uh, all, it was like side A and B are four tracks called Sun, then uh, each, I guess a, a subtitle under that is Jaguar, Windstorm, Fiery Rain, and Flood. Oh, and then side C and side D also uh, are called Sun, and those are Earthquake and Wormwood. And here are the performers over here. I'm, uh, I'm not familiar with these. So there's all the credits. So yeah, this is very interesting, and I'm definitely gonna have to uh, listen to this one uh, some more. But I heard it in the first place. So yeah, but thanks for sending that, Sean. That is on this extremely plain label. It's black vinyl and the black and white label, and the other one is like that. And then Sean also sent some um, <clears throat> CDs. These were taped to a. Um, piece of uh, cardboard that I did something with. I can't remember what I did with it right now, but uh, it was kind of a um, <clears throat> uh, pop punk starter kit. So uh, I'd mentioned to Sean that I started listening to uh, uh, pop punk a little bit more. You know, 90s pop punk bands, uh, largely starting with Green Day, I guess. And, uh, and then also uh, got uh, a Pinhead Gunpowder record, a couple of records by then. So uh, Sean sent me this Hot Punk Starter Kit, Rancid, uh, Rancid, Let's Go is the name of this one. I've already listened to these, I've listened to th three of these so far. I listened to this one once, it sounds really cool. Uh, I guess the one thing I'd say that I sort of noticed about this one is it has a lot of uh, uh, background vocals the, with the band, the other members of the band you know, sort of, I guess you call them background vocals, a lot of, uh, kind of like yelling. Well, it'd be very cool, you know, when you go to see them live, I can imagine the people in the uh, in the crowd, you know, yelling along with them. The There's all the words there and more information on the back. So, yeah, I've only heard this uh, uh, once so far, so, and I really didn't follow along with the words, so I got to listen to this one again. It sounded good. Uh, yeah, the main thing I noticed about it, that was, uh, yeah, really a lot of those, uh, the, uh, the background, the background vocals. Um, yes, yeah, so that was cool. And then he sent this uh, compilation album, Fat Music Volume 5. And this is a uh, sampler, which I haven't listened to this one at all yet, haven't even stuck it in yet. There's a whole lot, wow. There's a whole lot to, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of information here. It's very cool. It looks like all the songs have the words. So, uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be good. So it helps a lot to really be able to understand the words the first time through. Uh, yeah. And here is a little bit better look at all of the, I'm trying to keep the glare off of it, all the bands that are on there. Very cool looking CD. Yeah, 
So I'm going to have to uh, listen to that one. I haven't listened to that one yet. So that'd be cool. And then you sent me two uh, uh, CDs by, um, yeah, No FX, which is uh, the band that I was actually getting ready to start digging into their uh, catalog. So the first one is uh, uh, White Trash, Two Hebes and a Bean. Uh, yeah, on Epitaph Records. This is from 1992. Yeah, I listened to this one once. Sounds very good. Yeah, pop, pop punk is really, yeah, it's very, very poppy sound. It seems like it, should, well, maybe they were on the radio a lot. I guess maybe they did. I really, was, I just did not listen to this music when it came out in the 90s, you know, and it kind of raises the question, you know, is it, is it something I want to listen to? Now, you know, this music that was, I think, directed towards, you know, people in their late teens, early 20s, and the 90s, and the 60-year-old guy, 63-year-old guy going to get into this now. But I think, uh, yeah, it sounds really good. It sounds good. And um, the words, actually, are, um, are very good. A lot of different uh, subject matter, a lot of different topics. So, yeah, those are very cool. He sent another no FX. CD. This one is called um, uh, Petting Zoo. And, uh, yeah, this one. This this one I listened to a little bit more closely and read along with the uh, words and everything while I was listening to it. And um, it's really, uh, uh, yeah, really very good. I like this one a lot. So, uh, yeah, great uh, guitar. Yeah, uh, pop punk. A lot of great guitar work on it. Kind of some some sort of ACD ish or. Something like that. So ACD, you know, ACDC is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sounds a little bit like ACDC. So, uh, uh, yeah, no FX. Yeah, so thanks a lot for all those, Sean. I'm, uh, uh, I was, I've enjoyed the ones with two so far. I'm going to uh, listen to the others. And, um, yeah, yeah, all, it's all, all excellent. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you a couple other records I just recently got. And I haven't shown these yet. And uh, they, they fit in perfectly with this Pinhead Gunpowder. Shoot the Moon. It's recently reissued by 1234Go Records. 1234Go, which is a, a record store, I guess, out there in Oakland. And then I guess they uh, manufacture some of their own records. They uh, produce some of their own records. And uh, uh, so, yeah, this is Shoot the Moon. Uh, yeah, Pinhead Gunpowder is a, uh, uh, yeah, I really like them a lot. Just, yeah, totally the pop sounding so like, uh, well, uh, Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day is in the band. Um, so, uh, and I think it's him singing a lot. It sure sounds like him anyway. And uh, uh, so that's sort of that pop sound. Uh, very cool. Actually, I actually haven't gotten around to listening to this one yet either. I've got quite a few records lately. I haven't gotten around to this one yet, but I'm going to. So this blue vinyl, 45 RPM. So it takes a little bit more work uh, <laughs> to listen to it. Not a whole lot more, but uh, just gotta uh, change the belt around on my turntable. Uh, speaking of 45 RPMs, in, in uh, honor of the year of the 45, I picked up a couple pinhead gunpowder seven inches. Picture of the band there. This is West Side Highway, an anniversary song. Flipside is on the avenue. So there are three songs on these. Three songs on this. Cool label. Black and gold vinyl. Yeah, I think this came out in like 1999 originally or maybe maybe something more like 2008 these are reissues of one two three four go records so uh here's the other one pinhead gunpowder this is uh <clears throat> landlords and black mountain part three This one, on this 
pink and black vinyl. Landlords. Uh. Oh yeah, well, maybe they actually, maybe they even call this like an EP. It's like uh, eight, eight chords, three, 328 words. See what it says? 328 words. So I'm not really sure exactly. Uh, <laughs> if this is an EP, I, I would call it a seven single though with three songs on it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, Pinhead Gunpowder. Very cool. Hot Punk Band. And while I was ordering that from 1234 Go Records, I also ordered this uh, Descendants compilation. Greatest Hits, basically, I guess you would call it. 1991. It looks like is when this came out on SST Records. This is two records set. I have the first to send this album, Milo Goes to College. And I have on tape somewhere, I have the second one, I don't want to grow up, but I, that tape, I mean, it's hard to find. It's, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. But I didn't, didn't have any of their other albums. So uh, I really wanted to get the uh, second album, I Don't Want to Grow Up. Um, because I really liked a lot of that album. So I figured I would go ahead and get this one in here, some of their later stuff too. So here's the track listing on that. Name of it is Summary, S-O-M-E-R-Y. I guess it's, I mean, it sounds like Summary, I think, S-U-M-M-A-R-Y. And this, it is a two record set. Both of the records are on this green SST label. Descendants. Descendants Greatest Hits, I guess, basically. So, um, yeah, so that's it. So, uh, uh, yeah, thanks again for all of the um, uh, CDs and the albums, uh, Sean, the vinyl. I'm gonna uh, finish listening to all this really fantastic artwork on this one. I'll show that one again, just a little bit so you can get a better look at that one. And uh, yeah, the uh, records and uh, yeah, the um, Intro to Pop Punk Sampler is uh, really cool, so we'll be listening to that a lot more. So, uh, yeah, so that's it. So, let me know what you think uh, about all these uh, uh, records and CDs. I'm always interested to know, and hope everybody's doing well. Thanks very much for watching.